Okay, I'm going to take a look at an unequal slope roof here. Uh, this is just a hip roof. Um, some of the information that we have. This is a 512 running this way in the lightly shaded area. Uh, our ends are an 812. We don't know the length of this ridge. Um, some other things we know, it's an unequal pitch hip roof, so unequal slope. Uh, it's an imperial. 14 by 18 is our building dimensions, shown by these dotted lines here. It'd be 14 there, 18 there. A 12 inch roof projection. So in an unequal slope roof, because we want our fascia to remain at the same elevation and our soffit to remain the same uh, length, like our projection the same length all the way around the, to, the, on the same run, uh, so it's one foot there, everything has to be laid out now and calculated from the fascia. You can see in this picture here that because it's unequal slope, this hip runs at an angle that's not 45 degrees. So everything we've been doing so far calculation-wise, all our hips and valleys run at 45 degrees. Uh, but this is an unequal slope, so that rule of 45 degrees is out the window. So you can see it runs on a, on a steep angle there. Uh, by the way, I got this from the textbook. Uh, it's The picture's from page 521 in the second edition, or it's 563 in the third edition, so you can take a look at it there. Uh, I'll also upload this uh, online so you can take a look at this this whole document and print it off and go through the exercise yourself. So being a, a 512, I want to calculate all these rafters here. So being a 512, this part's easy. So solve for A is pretty straightforward. So as I always like to do, I draw my little 512 here and I calculate for my x side there for my unit line length. So 5 squared is 25 plus 144 and the square root of that. So at a 512, my unit line length is 13. So I'm going to look at my runs. And remember, everything's from the fascia here. So all the way in, the total line length of this rafter from there to there. My span is 16, so I have 8. So it's just going to be 13 times 8. I'm just going to keep all this in inches, so that's 104 inches right there. So uh, number A, or letter A, is 104 inches. So this one here, B, runs from our fascia to this point here. We don't know what the run of it is. We know that it's an 812, it says so right there, but we don't know what the run of it is. So know what the length of this ridge is, that would help us figure out what the run is. So because we don't know all that stuff, we have to work off the total rise. So from fascia to the center here, like a, the total rise of, of common A is the same as the total rise of this rafter here, which is the same as the total rise of this entire ridge here. So we have eight units of rise at five inches each. So you can use your calculator. It's gonna be 40 inches of total rise. I'm gonna record that there. Okay, then I'm going to take a look at how many units of run do I need for an 812 to reach 40 inches of rise. So I just take my 40 inches total rise and divide by my unit rise of 8. And of course, I get 5. So I have 5 units of run there. This measurement on the level is 5 feet. Okay, so I, I might even just write that there. That's five feet. This side's going to be five feet as well. So the line length of that, I better do my A12 here. So any 12 I know is 14.42, but you can do the math and you get the same thing. So 14.42 times five, because five units are run, 72.1 inches is my length for B. 72.1 inches. So next on here is C, and that's our total length of the ridge. So my total building, fascia to fascia, it says up here is 20 feet. So 20 feet, and I subtract five feet from there, and five feet from there, because that's what we figured it out to be. So that's a total of 10. My length of ridge then for C is 10. Okay, so I just calculated the length of D. Uh, I did a really good job, but unfortunately I wasn't rolling on my video, so I'll explain what I did here. 
Uh, we know that it doesn't run out of 45, but we do know what its, what its run is or approximately what its run is. So it, we know from here to here is eight feet. That's half of the span is the run, eight feet from there to there. And we figured out based on the total rise that we have five feet of run here. So we have a little right angle triangle here, eight feet, five feet. When I did the math on that, I found the hypotenuse to be 9.43, so on. That's this number right here that they have in the textbook for us. That's the total run from there to there. Now, if we know the total run is this number here, which I converted into inches, because my total rise is 40 inches, so I left that as inches and that as inches. If I find the hypotenuse of that, my total rise as it is here, going down on a slope to my elevation basically of zero right there. So did the math on that, it's 120.067 inches or 10 feet zero and a sixteenth is the total line length of rafter D right there. So rafter E is this first jack on, a, on then the unequal hip here. So it's shortened off of this common here. Uh, What's not labeled in our textbook is it is two feet on center, so we're two feet over, and then two feet further over right there, which looks like it's right on the building line, but I'm not entirely sure. So let's take a look at where all of these things are and, uh, and how we're gonna figure out the, the length of them. For E here, I've mentioned everything we need to calculate. We're gonna use measurements on the run. So we had a little triangle here of eight feet and five feet. It's the same triangle here of five feet over to the first common, that length there, and eight feet in. So at five feet in and eight feet in, we have a rafter here, and its total length is this length A of 104 inches. So I'm gonna just use ratio. So based on five feet of run this way, I have 104 inches of rafter line length. So I'm gonna use throw my line length of one four over top of my my run this way so this is five feet so 104 is to five feet as X the length of E that we're trying to calculate is to what we've got here is three feet as it's five feet to there two feet on center we take away two feet so it's three so just do the math here three feet as long as we got feet times inches times feet, we're gonna be okay. If I got feet and feet, inches and inches, it's all gonna work out. It's where I had, if I had inches here and feet here, it's not gonna work out. So feet to feet equals inches to inches is fine. Or inches to inches equals inches to inches is also fine, but don't get them all crossed up, okay? So three times 104 divided by five will give you my answer. Three times 104 divided by five x equals 62.4 inches. So that's the total length of this rafter on the slope from the hip to the fascia. Let's do f now. So let's do the same ratio. 104 is to 5 as x is to, well, what's our, what's our run from there to there? From here to here is 3 feet, 2 feet over. So that is 1. So one times 104 divided by five, 104 divided by five, X equals 20.8 inches. That's the length of that rafter from the hip to the fascia there. And next we have G. So let's take our, another, our other little triangle here. It's the same eight feet that way and five this way. So what's this, the line length of this guy at B? Uh, B, we have 72.1. So let's use it, 72.1 is to eight this time, because it's eight feet across there, as X is to two feet back is six feet. Six times 72.1 divided by eight. X here, G should say it probably, is 54.8. 0.75 inches. Now H is the same, same concept, 72.1 is to 8 as 
let's put H there this time. H is two, that's eight, six, four. Four times 72.1 divided by eight. H equals 36.05 inches. I, one more, so that was that's eight feet, six feet, four feet, two feet. 72.18 equals I to two. Two times 72.1 divided by eight. I equals 18.025. I want to show you here that you can calculate a common difference between all of these two uh, because there's two feet of run in each of these we can use two feet there's two feet right there as our common difference and just use a ratio so common difference is going to equal still we have our total line length of this rafter right here 72.1 72.1 inches is to 8 as x is to 2 feet. Uh, if it was 16 inches on center, we'd go with 16, and that would have to be in inches too, so that'd be 96. So we've already done this math right here. Uh, the common difference is 18.025. So I take 18.025 and added it to that to see the, the rafter next to it is 36.05. Well, that's, that's that. And if I added 18.025 to that, I get that right there. So I can do the common difference this way also. So uh, since we didn't do that, there's no nowhere did we go to a 2 as a reference. Let's say cal common difference for that side is going to be 104. The length of a common here is to 5 feet as x is to 2. So 104 times 2 divided by 5. X in this case equals 41.6. So you can see here, 62.4 subtract 41.6. Or let's do 20.8 because I have it in my 41.6 common difference. Plus 20.8 gives me... 62.4 and there it is right there. Okay, sometimes we may come across a situation where we have, we're given the length of this ridge and this slope, but we don't have this slope right here. So what if we were given this? And let's just use all of the same numbers. So C here is 10 feet. And we would have to figure out everything here. So C is 10 feet. We don't know what that is, pretend. So from here to here, there is eight units of rise. Eight times five is 40, so we know our rise is 40 inches. So we would have to look at the total length of the building is 20 feet. And with the ridge is 10 feet, that leaves us with 10 more feet. In other words, five at either end. So if we had a total run of five feet, and a total rise of 40, so 40 inches divided by five feet for our units of run, five units of run. So that's gonna give us our, our eight, and that's how we could calculate that we have an 812 right there. It's not usually this easy with all these nice easy numbers you can do in your head. Uh, they'll throw a ridge in there that, that might be, you know, 105 inches long, in which case our slope's not gonna be a nice even 812, but we could still do all the same math and get there. So it's all based on run and total rise, and everything goes to the fascia.